Mowgli's lupine family in The Jungle Book may not be entirely based on fiction, as scientists have found that wolves can actually show attachment to humans. Researchers at Stockholm University in Sweden tested 10 wolves and 12 dogs to investigate how they behaved in strange and stressful situations. The wild animals are able to distinguish between strangers and people they know, and show much more affection to those familiar to them than even dogs do. The wolves demonstrated affection to the caregiver they knew best by getting closer to them and spending a longer time greeting them. This finding contradicts the idea that dogs' attachment to humans only developed after humans domesticated them. Instead, wolves demonstrating this attachment could have had a selective advantage in early stages of dog domestication, according to lead author Dr. Christina Hansen Wheat. A genetic analysis of the world's oldest known dog remains revealed that dogs were domesticated in a single event by humans living in Eurasia, around 20,000 to 40,000 years ago. Dr. Krishna Viramar, an assistant professor in evolution at Stony Brook University, told Mail Online, the current hypothesis is that the domestication of dogs likely arose passively. Those wolves that were tamer and less aggressive would have been more successful at this, and while the humans did not initially gain any kind of benefit from this process. With a population of wolves somewhere in the world living on the outskirts of hunter-gatherer camps feeding off refuse created by the humans. Over time they would have developed some kind of symbiotic, mutually beneficial, relationship with these animals eventually evolving into the dogs we see today. Domestication of dogs was known to have occurred at least 15,000 years ago, when grey wolves and dogs diverged from an extinct wolf species. Many researchers believe that their ability to form attachment with humans was developed around the same time, likely over thousands of years, while they became tamer. However, Dr. Hansen Wheat believed that people may have selectively bred dogs based on a pre-existing attachment characteristic. To test this theory, they utilized a behavioral test specifically designed to quantify attachment behaviors in canids, called the Strange Situation Test. This was originally developed for human infants. However here it could reveal if domestication influenced dogs' attachment towards humans. It is a seven-stage procedure where a familiar person or a stranger interacts with the test animal in a room and its reactions are monitored. In one of those stages, the familiar person and stranger take turns coming in and out the room in order to create a strange and stressful situation for the animal. The theory is that this unstable environment will stimulate the animal's attachment behaviors. As the animals go through the tests, they look for signs of the wolves and dogs discriminating between the familiar person and the stranger.